we are in Paris, guys. I just arrived to my hotel. I I love this hotel. I've stayed here previously. Uh, I, I, I didn't even do an intro, you guys. Welcome. Maro Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC. Welcome back to my channel and the Paris Fashion Week vlogs. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So yes, we are in Paris for Paris Fashion Week. Um, I just touched down. I got everything together. I'm one of those people who unpacks right away. If you are the same, comment below, comment below. Because as soon as I got in here, I unpacked everything. All of my suitcases are empty. Um, and it works out. I'm going to give you guys a tour of this place. Don't worry, by the time you see this video, I will already be gone. I am staying at Alfred Saumier Hotel. I stayed here previously in a different room. This room is so incredible. They put me on the fifth floor. I'm in the top floor and it's like a little mini apartment. And I have a view of the Eiffel Tower. This is the first time I've ever stayed in a hotel where I had a view of the Eiffel Tower. And I'm just so ecstatic to be here. So I'm gonna super quickly give you guys a montage room tour. Um, if you're wondering, I'm staying in room 510. If you ever want to stay here and you like this room, request a room on the fifth floor. Uh, let's roll that beautiful hotel room footage and uh, we'll come back and talk about it. And then we're going shopping because this is my only free day. Let's do it.
you guys can see this place is super cute i love the wood molding on the roof it makes it feel like a little apartment i mean it really is the bathroom is separate you have a beautiful hallway i have a little sitting area with the tv oh i'm a little backlit sorry guys i have a little sitting area with the tv that's really cute the bedroom is huge i have tons and tons and tons of closet space i love the nespresso machine um and i am working with the hotel they gave me a media rate i told you guys about media rates in my preparing for a paris video so yeah i did get a discount and i have like free breakfast every day as well so it really worked out and i love it this is like a, a little apartment it's super quiet i have light on all sides it's just incredible i would definitely highly recommend staying here it's in the madeline area which is very very close to the Tuileries, um, the first, the second arrondissement where there are a lot of shows. It's also within walking distance to uh, Galleries Lafayette and really good shopping. So yeah, I'm very excited to be staying here and the service is great. It's always impeccable anytime I need anything. The service is incredible, okay? This is like a five star <laughs> place um so yeah i got myself together i'm gonna show you my outfit of the day and then we are heading out let's see i'm gonna flip you guys so you can get the full view of my outfit okay so the makeup is just my normal everyday face that you would have seen in my previous <laughs> makeup video um i have on the rihanna uh fenty glass bomb in color riri um, my hair is just back in a little ball um but let me give you the look because i do have a few new items on okay so hopefully you can see me pretty well i mean look at this little seating area it's so cute um but i am wearing a full cat suit from skims that you would have seen in my preparing for paris video i actually wore this on the plane as well super comfortable zips up the back i got it in a medium i layered it with this uh, Rodarte sweatshirt it's cold in Paris y'all like it's it's cold you need layers this blazer you would have seen previously in my preparing for Paris video this is acne it's kind of furry it looks kind of dirty it has two inside pockets where I keep all of my things love that for me the shoes are sneakers from Celine the sunglasses are also Celine and then we have this little scarf that's super old, but it's from a American Apparel. And I usually leave it in New York, but I brought it on this trip and it came in so handy, especially when I needed to like cover my head or sleep on the plane to give me that darkness. So that, let me move y'all, because I feel like I'm too backlit. So that is the look. For today, fragrance, y'all know, Eccentric Molecule 01. Someone did alert me that this is on sale at Walmart. Um, I think at Bloomingdale's it's 130 at Walmart, it's like 70. So I'll link this down below because I have been loving it. All right, we're gonna grab my passport, everything I need to shop, and then we are out of here. Let's go shopping. All right guys, so we are out. It is about 4.45. I think things start to close at nine. So uh, walking from here, it's a straight shot to I believe Osman, the street that Galleries Lafayette is on. So I'm just gonna walk it. It's freezing.
starting the shopping trip in Printemps. Um, it's literally a three minute walk from the hotel. And right next to this is Galleries Lafayette. Um, I already got a little something from Ferragamo, the latest collection. Um, I'm loving their new designer. Super young, incredible. Um, I'm gonna try on this skirt really quickly. I don't know if it's gonna fit, but we will see. I love the print on it. All of my favorite like colors, blue, orange, and it's a furry material. It has a matching top, but I didn't like the top. But the skirt, really cute. I like it. It fits. The heel. It'll be super fun. Right here, can you see it? Is Zara, which is right there. So I'm gonna go check out Zara and then I might go home because I have a headache and I need to eat. But so far, good shopping trip in Prince Home. I really like how everything is organized in there. They have these little areas where uh, it's very fashionable and trendy, like little trendy areas for the girls who like the trends. Everything is very easy to find. Um, I feel like Galleries Lafayette is a little more spread out. Um, Prince Home, I feel like is a little younger. Uh, their rooftop is incredible. I saw a beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower, got a coffee. Um, it's like six o'clock, I need to eat. But let's go on Zara first. and early in Paris it's about 7 30 I'm a little nasally because again it's, it's very 
a very dry heat in this uh, room. But I'm not mad at it because it's cold and I'd rather be warm. It's okay, I have some water. So yesterday I did some shopping. I started at Printon. Um, right across the street from that is a Zara. Right across the street from that is the Galleries Lafayette. Opposite across the street from that is Gourmet Galleries Lafayette with all of the food. Don't worry, I'll put everywhere I went down below in the description box. But it's bright and early. I want to try and get breakfast in, which is complimentary every day. They do it downstairs in their super cute dining room. Um, so we're going to go have breakfast. Then I'm going to come back here and get ready for my first show of the day. Wearing nothing on my face. I'm going to show you guys what I got shopping yesterday. Uh, wearing this little Skims house dress. I'm going to wear this down to breakfast because... yeah we'll take this off by the way to get this little slick back bun i used the uh, eco styling gel with argon oil a lot of it i'll link it down below uh, it's so beautiful seeing the eiffel tower from the window <sighs> i'm so excited to be here i hung out with karen last night you'll see her today we're gonna do some things together but yeah oh uh, here is are very cute am i backlit can you see me one another thing i love about this hotel is the attention to detail it's a sm it's a smaller hotel but it feels like a home like this feels like an apartment um they have a tiny little bar downstairs it's not tiny but it's a super cute cozy little bar and karen and michael and a few friends and i we had like drinks down there last night it was so fun like this place is a gym and for the price like the space you get i went to karen's room it's huge and she has a balcony um i like being up top like this feels like a little parisian home and i've always had dreams of like living in paris in fact I, after i quit my job i was gonna move to paris which is so funny like i had saved up and i was planning on moving here and just like traveling for a few months so yeah this definitely feels so cozy like home. Um, they have 24 hour room service, uh, concierge. It's just incredible. And all of the little things that they provide you. Ugh. I have to tell you guys about the, this hotel. The last time I stayed here, I met the owner, Mr. Warren. He was super nice. This hotel actually used to be a house, which is crazy because for it to be a house it's huge but you definitely get that home feel that very parisian vibe i would highly recommend it it's three minutes away from all of the best shopping Ugh. and really close to the shows as well if you're into hermes it's right around the corner like cannot beat it okay let's go have breakfast
delicious. I don't know, Paris has the best bacon and orange juice. But I wanted to show you guys the little bar. It's here, it's so cute. It's right next to the dining area here. This is where I was last night with Karen and Michael and a few friends. We just sat here, this little corner, drinking some champagne, it's super cute and intimate. Only a few seats, but absolutely stunning and so fun. All right, so let's go get ready for the first show of the day. All right, guys, I'm all dressed and ready for my first show of Paris Fashion Week. I am super excited. So we are headed to the CFCO show. They do a lot with uh, recycled fabrics and pleating. I took you guys to their presentation last fashion week, but this week they are having a show and I have a seat. I'm gonna quickly flip you guys over, show you my outfit of the day. Um, I'm, ch I'm coming right back here and changing. It's super cold today. We're going very basic for a super early morning show. I'm gonna come back and change and show you a new fit, but yeah. Pulled out my new Bottega earrings. The gloss is Fenty. It's hopefully back in stock on Fenty, on Fenty, on Fenty, I cannot say Fenty, on Fenty's website. I'll put it in my story. So if you're not following me on stories on Instagram, you're playing yourself, hopefully it hasn't sold out. Let me show you the fit and then we're out of here. Outfit of the day, I'm wearing these Benetta Carter Timbaland heel boots. The skirt is something by Sanji, the Olympia skirt. I went very basic underneath because the boots and the denim jacket are doing a lot. It's given 90s. The top is from Zara, the earrings, Bottega, the lip, Fenty, today's fragrance, Molecule, Eccentric Molecule 01. This does come in a travel size, so I will link it. That is the fit. Let me make sure you get a good picture. Very basic, very chill. It's very cold in Paris today. Plus, I'm changing again in like an hour. So let's grab my sunglasses. Hotel car key. We're just gonna go with and other stories. Keep it basic. We're gonna go shoot this look and then we're off.
Okay, so just leaving CFCO, it was a great first show of Paris Fashion Week. They had a presentation last year, but this year they did an actual show and it was wonderful. All of their things are really very minimal and plain, but what makes them stand out are like the textures and the shapes. I love the big um, billowy sleeves. Everything has a rib. They're really known for like their rib knits. Uh, I think my favorite piece was a gray kind of um, long sleeved ribbed uh, top with a matching skirt that kind of flared out and it kind of had a furry texture. It was so beautiful. I love how they layer their pieces as well. Um, you can find them on essence.com. This is how I found out about the brand. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed that show. And it was cool how they did it too. Overhead, they had speakers in French and in English telling you about the garments that were that were coming down the runway at that time. The fabrics and everything those garments represented. So it was really cool, like very interactive. I also ran into Ellie there. Uh, so make sure to check her out. Um, and we just had a good kiki and a good catch up. I also love that they had food. It was the first show. They had these little uh, red bean like mochi balls. Um, they had coffee and water. And I think that's the way to start off a morning show, especially when you have to get up super early and be in Paris traffic. So I am heading back to the hotel now. I'm gonna chill for a bit before heading to uh, Dior. I think Karen is gonna join me and I'll, I'll follow up with you guys then. All of the shows that I attend, I'm gonna put the brands down in the description box so you can check them all out. It's a beautiful morning. <sighs> all right guys, so we are back from the first show. Um, it's about 11 o'clock, so I have two hours before I have anything else I need to do. So your girl is going back to Printemps and Galleries Lafayette for the next two hours while it's nice and quiet and they just opened. Um, because I think I want to buy some sunglasses before we go and check out Dior. But yeah, such a great first show. I'm going to show you guys what I got in when I shopped yesterday because I know y'all want to know. Here are the goods. Let's get them. Okay, first up. I told you guys I wanted this Tiffany bracelet. <laughs> they only had one here, like one in the whole Paris. And they only have one in Miami. And so I thought I would go ahead and get this bracelet because like it's cheaper here by like $500. Boop. And then I also get a, um, the discount back. So ah, Tiffany. All right guys, so here it is. It is the Tiffany gold twist bracelet with diamonds on one side and white um, pearl on the other side. And I think it's like the perfect stack. I do have this Tiffany gold ring, so I feel like it's a nice little stack. Now I just feel like I need one little like super skinny like bangle, not even a bangle, like a chain link to finish off like this arm party but I love it. And the price was definitely right for Paris. All right, so that's what I got in from Tiffany, this beautiful bracelet. Why are you guys so close? Loving that. Um, I did get something from Ferragamo. Um, I could not resist. I got the new red bag. Oh, it's so stunning. Oh, I love the shape of this. So here is a look at this stunning Ferragamo bag. Ferragamo's new uh, creative director as of last year is Maximilian Davis. And he's black and he's young and he is fabulous. And I'm loving the direction he is taking the brand in. But this bag is so cute. Like, look at this. Can you all see the difference? It's silver here, gold here. So you just press this in open. And I mean, the craftsmanship. It has tons of little card holders and it's pretty spacious on the inside, but it's definitely the color. I'm loving red and the shape for me. Um, I think this also comes in black and white and a few other colors, but the red was the one for me. 
Also, the price point on this bag was so good. It was definitely under $2,000 for a designer bag is pretty incredible. Um, and then of course I got a discount with the VAT back, getting the tax. And I love shopping at Printemps and Galleries Lafayette because you they have places right in the store where you can go right after you buy the items. As long as you have your passport, you can get the refund right then and there. Then they just give you the papers to verify at the airport. So yeah. Oh, can you see this with a red lip? Girl, living. Okay, next up, I did stop in Zara. <laughs> and I don't know why, but this little netted top spoke to me. Um, it's definitely a cover up. It was in the swim section. But I think it's so cute. I could layer this on top of a white turtleneck. Uh, and it could just be a moment. I love the craftsmanship on this too. This is a limited edition piece. I always check out Zara anytime I come to Paris because they have better stuff. The mango too. Ooh, the mango is right next to the Zara on Osman Street. Osman Boulevard. On the same street as Printon and Galleries Lafayette. Not the Champs-Élysées one. The Osman Boulevard one. I'll put the exact places I went down below and which streets they're on. But this is super cute. I got it in a large because I wanted it to be kind of oversized to wear cute things under. Um, last but not least, I ended up getting this Connor skirt. It does come with like a matching jacket, but I didn't want the jacket. I just wanted the skirt. And I love the motif on this skirt. It's almost like a sunset. You can see the sky. I love the colors in it. It's kind of furry. And I love the orange and the brown and the trees. It has a little slit in the back. This thing fits like a glove, okay? I can definitely see myself creating a super cute look with this. Um, so that's it, that's all I got from my shopping excursion yesterday. I'm gonna quickly change. I'm gonna keep this bodysuit on. I'm gonna change into some stirrups um, and throw on the same jacket. I'm gonna walk over to Prince Home, just do a little bit of browsing for about an hour and a half before heading back here and getting ready to check out Dior. Then after, after Dior, I'm going to, I'm so excited to go to this show because I believe I just saw Sam Smith recently wearing a garment from this designer and it blew my mind okay y'all are gonna love it so let's get ready to go do some more shopping okay guys here is the look i just same zara bodysuit i'll link it down below these leggings are from velvet i think i got these from essence still have on the boots by the way these are so comfortable i can definitely walk around in these all day they are they run a half a size small i'm usually a 10 i got a nine they fit great come on the same earrings gonna go with the same denim coat which i spilled coffee all over at the previous show very chill look since we're just going shopping we're gonna put these and other story sunglasses back on I'm gonna tie this up because it is cold, but not as cold as it was yesterday, which is great. I feel like this is giving very much 90s New York and the people are digging it. All right, the fragrance, we are going with Anishio Paragon. I love this. It smells like magic in a bottle. That is the look.
super quick shopping excursion. I went to Galleries Lafayette because I wanted to check out their uh, Jacquemus installation. They have a ton of them. Um, it's really, really cool. I don't know how long it will be up, but as this video goes live, it will still be there. So if you're heading to Paris or if you're already in Paris, head to Galleries Lafayette, the men's and women's store, to check it out because it's really cool. Um, I went to maybe get some Loewe sunglasses, but I decided on the Prada sunglasses instead. I've been looking for this like shape of sunglass for a while. Um, and yeah, I found them at the Sunglass Hut at Galleries Lafayette. Beautiful Prada case. So they're kind of like moto sunglasses. Really, really fun. I think these are past season, so I'm not sure if they are available anywhere online. But I don't have anything like this in my sunglasses collection. Most of my sunglasses are actually pretty big. But I like these, like how they kind of outline my eyebrows. So yeah, really fun. Prada. I think they're cool. Um, so now I have about 30 minutes before uh, Karen and I are going to meet up. And we're going to head to just hang outside the Dior show um, and look at the fashion, see what everyone's wearing to the show, um, and just hang out there. And then we're heading to a presentation. Now, let's see. I, I, I want to pronounce this correctly. It is the Tomo Koizumi presentation. Now, I'm very, very interested in this designer because... Um, I'm pretty sure Sam Smith wore a design by this designer and like just look at these pieces. Can you guys see these pieces? Ugh. I am ecstatic. Let me see if I can find the Sam Smith because I'm sure he just dressed him for an event. Let me see. Yes. In this huge pink gown this one guys oh why is it not bringing it up very well hold on one second can you guys see this is sam smith and the the designer that i'm going to his presentation oh this is insane so when i got the invite i was like this name looks familiar and sam smith just wore this uh february 2nd um when i got the invite to this show i was like I'm there. So we're going to check out that presentation after hanging out at Dior. And let's see, do I have anything else today? Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I might go to dinner with friends. I do. I maybe have another presentation, but I think that's probably it for today. All right. So I'm going to quickly get myself together. Oh, I did stop at a little bakery and I picked up a quiche for lunch. Breakfast here at... Um, Alfred Sommier Hotel is so good. Like, they have the best eggs. But I'm hungry again. And I have to make sure I'm eating. But look at how beautiful this quiche is. Ugh. There's a cute little bakery right on the corner. Um, the people who work there are not the friendliest. But the food is bomb. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, guys, I'll check back in when I'm dressed. And we will head to check out the scene at Dior. Mmm, delicious. Alright, guys, all dressed and ready. I call this look 50 Shades of Grey. This is a super old skirt that I got in uh, Milan in like 2015. The sweater is old H&M. The... Jacket is Eileen Fisher, also super old. The hat is new in from the Frankie shop. The boots are the Grey Tomorrow Melons. Yeah, so this is the look. I like it a lot. It's very chic. It's very fun. Since we're going to hang out at Dior, I'm going to grab this one of my favorite Dior bags for a little pop of color. Um, I also have Dior 999 on my lips. We're still wearing the Bottega drop earrings in silver. 
Um, let's also spray a little bit of the Dior Bois d'Argent, just so we're on brand. All right, that's the look. I'm gonna meet Karen and we're gonna head to check it out, see who's attending the show. I, I wish I was attending the show. More on that later. Um, but yeah, let's go. for me hello we have arrived this is so nice we have arrived look at these little ports back here <laughs> thank you thank you i'm riding exclusive for you guys we Exclu on our way. exclusive we are on our way area it's always a madhouse out there everyone is dressed to the nines it's really really fun it's super bright today which I'm glad I have this hat but I'm gonna head back to the hotel change and then we're gonna go to the Tomo presentation and then I don't know I think we'll try and do an Eiffel Tower shoot tonight we'll see the Tomo presentation it was really cool um, he actually showed in Milan and I saw the show but like to see the clothes up person up close and personal and see all of the detailing that goes into it is something different so it was very very cool everything is very big very boisterous very loud very colorful very fun something that I think is kind of missing in, in fashion right now I feel like fashion is a little serious right now so to have something so playful and fun like that is really integral um i would definitely wear like some of the pieces i i i tried to show you guys the ones that i really like the most but the satin ones that are kind of watercolor um and kind of bubble like that in a skirt or in a dress with like a pair of leggings and a pointy toe heel heel would be super cute all right, so we hung out a little outside of Dior, saw what everyone was wearing, just checked out the Tomo presentation, and now I'm heading back to the room. I'm, I have a little bit of work to do, and I wanna relax. 
And so I think I'm gonna end it out for today and we will hop right back into it tomorrow with, let me look at my calendar and see what we have. We have some pre presentations and a show tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. I don't know why I'm looking so red, but there we go. Hey y'all. So I rested quite a bit and now I'm getting ready to head to dinner with the girls. We're going to an African restaurant. Um, I think Ellie's coming, Janae, the Yusufs, should be super fun. I'll put on my ponytail and this Garris for Tim dress, which is a Parisian brand. Um, I'll show you guys the full look and then we will head out. Okay guys, here is the look for tonight. I'm wearing this Garris for Tim dress. This is a Parisian brand. Um, love the designs. I have a few of their pieces. The lip, of course, Rihanna. The Fenty Gloss in Riri. These earrings are from Farfetch, they're super old. Um, bag, Celine, shoes. Tomorrow Melon, I am gonna throw on a coat because it's freezing. But that is the look for tonight. Tonight's fragrance, Barreto Ball d'Afrique. Smells incredible. All right guys. Let's go to dinner. Today is another day here in Perry. Um, I got myself together and I am heading to, I only have one show today, which is Undercover. And then I maybe have two presentations, but I plan to do a little shopping today with Karen, Karen Britchick. So that should be fun. Um, I'm very excited about Undercover though. So let me quickly show you my outfit of the day, my makeup is my normal everyday makeup. Of course, I have on the Rihanna Fenty Glass Bomb in the color Riri. They did restock it on the Fenty Beauty website, not at Sephora. So if you want it, go to the link in my description box, click it, it'll take you directly to the product and get as many as you can. It's so good. The earrings are Bottega. I have been wearing these nonstop since I bought them and I'm not even a silver girl. So that's how you know it's love. <laughs> the sunglasses are um, from Burberry and I got them at an outlet in Miami. Um, let me show you the rest of the look. It's just a fun look. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me. I had to turn you on your side. But this is my look for the day. I am wearing this uh, satin jacket from Zara, the Zara men's collection from uh, the Ruigi collaboration. I believe they still have it. I got it in a large because I wanted it to be oversized, but fun jacket. The dress is Izzy Miyake. It's like a little pleated dress. I, I think this was actually on sale from Essence. The belt is super old from Boohoo. And I'm not wearing a bag today, so I thought, you know, something with a few extra pockets I can put my phone in here. It's fine. Uh, the boots are super old from Jill Saunders. 
and oh today's fragrance is Anishio Paragon love this it smells so good so that is my look of the day super easy breezy kind of street because undercover is more of like a street brand and I want it to be on brand so that is the look I also added my ponytail and I showed you guys how to make one of these super easy um, in previous videos so just head down to the beauty section on how to create this ponytail with just like a few bags of um, like Marley here all right that is the look let's go so we just left the undercover show which was so good i got there and i was taking so many like photos that i got in really late so by the time i got in y'all all the seats were like gone so i just stood in the back which was fine i actually prefer to sit where i mean to stand rather than sit in like the last two three rows because you can't see anything um but the show was really really cool so many embellished outerwear pieces there was a leather jacket that had purses as arm sleeves and they were like sacks that you can just put your arms through and it's a purse but it's a jacket like it was so cool i'm definitely gonna look into seeing if i can get that piece but yeah, a lot of embellishments, um, like sequins, crystals on outerwear. Of course, oversized outerwear still in blazers, um, cardigans. Also huge, like bubble coats. And then like chiffon 
pieces that had like tons and tons and tons of layers also so like outerwear is really the thing for fall um very big very loud very boisterous very fun they had a lot of checkered patterns as well and i've been seeing check quite a bit so maybe that's making a comeback but the show was really really cool and i enjoyed it i'm um, very edgy undercover usually is pretty edgy and very just unique in the way that they put things together but of course those <laughs> that that jacket with bags as arm sleeves I've never seen anything like that before. It's genius, really. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed the show. I actually met my photographer there, uh, Michaela, and she took a few snaps of me too. Um, so yeah, all in all, a really good show. Glad I got up <laughs> and came to it. Right now we're on Champs-Élysées. We're passing Galleries Lafayette on Champs-Élysées. Uh, I'm heading back to the room and I'm gonna change so we can go do a little bit of shopping. But yeah, I really enjoyed that show. All right guys, so I'll check back in with you all soon, guys. Back in the room, changed super quick, and I'm gonna meet Karen and Michael, and I think we're gonna head to the Frankie shop. They do have one here in Paris. I put on my YSL bomber jacket, the teddy coat. I actually picked up this <laughs> shirt from um, JFK Airport. I'm always finding gems at airport. Celine sunglasses, Margella slash jeans, and my Celine uh, high tops. Let me give you a better look. The fit for today. Very chill. Very chill. All right, guys, here in Maximo Dutti, Duty, uh, seeing what they have. The last time I got some good pieces here. A nice walk um, I did a little bit of shopping I popped into Michael Kors I popped into um, what is it Massimo duty um, and a few other places I didn't end up getting anything and then I had lunch with Karen and Michael and now I'm back and I'm gonna try and get up a video so I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this one um, there will probably probably be two more of these videos because I have three like four full days of shows left in Paris um, so I think I'm just gonna do three days and then on the last day I will segue that video into like back in New York but if you enjoyed the video give a girl a thumbs up I will be sure to link everything down below all the shows I went to I will put down below so you can check out those brands if you want to see more from them um yeah so far really enjoying my Paris Fashion Week all right guys thank you again thumbs up subscribe click the notification bell so that you never miss a video and I'll see you all in the next one bye guys